smell madness that will freeze under the next ass. Mother. He calls us mother. mother. He calls us mother. He calls us mother. <laughs> mother. What do you see? You called. And I answered. Yes, yes we, we called. Oh, yes, yes we, we called. Do you see? <laughs> This burden is too heavy for me. You will put a cross on yourself. And until your pants is paid in full, your cost will remain. Then kill me and end this pain. And then your boss, you flesh which we should gladly chew, has lost its sweetness. Your heart, which, which should, should feel, feel my hunger, hunger has a poultry stench. <laughs> Your entrails will bring nothing but pain. But pain. <laughs> so we return all to your horses, brother. <laughs> <laughs> This minute. What did I do? I said, get out of my house, don't you get it? Leave and go where? What kind of stupid question is that? Don't you have a house? Don't you? Now leave my house, in fact. Take Get out of my house. It, it's 4 a.m. How am I supposed to go? Do I look like I care? Call a cab, call anybody, just get out of my house. 
my house, that's it. Why are you acting insane? Look, I'm acting insane in my own house. Take, get your things off. Now, out of my house. Now, this minute. Mom, good morning. Yes, Mom, I prayed. Mom, you cannot be checking up on me like this as if I'm a small boy. I'm a full grown man now, now. I will only believe that when you get married and give me grandchildren. Mom, please, 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 please. Don't start. I don't want to start this with you this morning, please. Too early to start what? Eh? My son is almost 40 years and he's not married. All I'm saying is I need grandchildren. Give me grandchildren. That is all I'm saying. I will give you grandchildren when I see somebody I love. Somebody who is suitable for me. Please. I'll talk to you later. Do see. <laughs> What are you still doing here? Good morning. To hell with that money. I just asked you a straight question. What are you still doing here? Well, by the time you asked me to leave last night, it was already late, so I decided to crash and then leave when it's done. The day has broken. Every reasonable person on earth will know it is time to go out and hustle for what to eat or what to do. So what are you still doing in my house? The insult is not necessary. And the sarcasm certainly doesn't suit you. I'll leave. Thank you. Um, do you want me to make you breakfast? Da! Breakfast what? Oh, God, get the hell out of my house. You know, when I met you a few days ago and you said you liked me and wanted to date me, I had second thoughts and I asked myself how a good looking mature man like you, with all you've acquired and living in this big house, has no girlfriend, not even in a relationship, a wife or something, or a child in the worst case scenario of, from a fling. And you know what? And I came to a conclusion. No woman, like no sane woman, wants to be with a man like you. And for the money, thank you. But I'm not a prostitute. And even if I were one, I wouldn't be this cheap. Excuse me. Are you sure the food in this cooler will be enough for you? More than enough. Are you sure? Very sure. Because you're losing weight. <laughs> but mother, I always come here to eat. You only come here for lunch. <laughs> but whenever I come, you always give me bowls of bowls of food. Which you don't eat. You think I don't know you dump them in your freezer? Yeah. 
This is what happens when your mother knows every inch of your house. Which I had no business knowing if you were married. Mother, please don't start. Don't even just start. I beg of you. Look at my, my, my friend, Abigail's son. He already has uh, five children. Two are in the secondary school. With the way things are going with you now, maybe you want them to have their grandchildren before you decide to get married. <laughs> you can laugh if you want. Laugh! But this is not a joking matter. Cha, eh, Grace, Mata, Ngozi, they are there. Good girls that I've seen with you. But at the end of the day, you tell me they're not good enough. I never said they're not good enough. It's just that it never worked out. Yes, and there's no law that says everybody must marry. I rebuke every spirit that just spoke through you now. I cancel it with the precious blood of Jesus. Mother. You will marry a good wife. You will have your own children. And you will have your own home. Don't let demons to use your... Your father will turn in his grave. If he, if he hears what just came out of your mouth. What, do you want to end his lineage? What did I ever what, what, do can to you? you? Can, even me can you just stop? Can you please stop? Can't you have a decent conversation with me without you bringing up devil this, devil that, or yourself? What is this now? Our God, our creator. For the Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Um, what I have to be on my way now. You see? You see, I have to leave now because with the way you're going, I don't think you want to have a conversation. Oh, Nyamwano, you want to go because I told you the truth. You now want to leave. Mother, please just stop all this because I am not in the mood for your God and how he works in mysterious ways that men do not understand. I am not just in that mood. Chuku Dozobi, you will not blaspheme in this house. No problem. Let me go to my house and blaspheme the way I want. Let me ask you this one. What has this God of yours done for you? Take and take and take. That is it. Nothing else. Chuku Doze. Mother, I will see you. Chuku Doze. Take care of yourself. Hi, baby. Hi. You didn't tell me you were coming. Oh. We need to talk. Okay. Are you sure you're right? Yes, I'm fine. Should I get you a drink? No. Thank you. I'm fine. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. So what is it? Yes, uh, I did. You see, whenever a woman says to a man um, that she has got something to discuss with him, is it a pregnancy or something scary? No, no. Far from it. I am not, so don't be scared. <clears throat> don't you think having a child from a woman you care about is a good thing? Can I get a drink now? Whiskey. I'll be with you in a jiffy. <clears throat> Now you're scaring me. Are you in any trouble? Well, 
Not really. Not really. Um, you know there is something I want to tell, tell you about? This is what you've been telling me. Can you just come out straight like? Um, you know I've been in Abuja for the past three weeks. And... And what? Okay. I can't go out with you. Maybe you're breaking up with me. Did I offend you or wrong you? You, you remember Tunji, right? Tunji. Your ex-boyfriend, you told me that broke up with you last two years. Yes. We met in Abuja and one thing led to another and he asked me to marry him. I said yes. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Women. The same boy you told me who dumped you last two years and went for your best friend. It's the same boy who proposed to you and you said yes. Tell me, how are you sure he's not going to dump you again? Because he came to see my parents a few days ago to do my introduction and he has picked a date for a traditional... Naya, what? What did you just say? Oh, you're even married. What? How despicable can a woman be? Okay, this is your... I've got a job in Abuja. Huh? I supported you. You went to Abuja. Just three weeks. Now you've met another man and he proposed, no, he even married you. And you came to play this emotional, emotional card with me? Eh? Huh? Desi, please, it's not what you think. Hey, don't even play that with me. This is a woman I proposed to eight months ago and she said she wasn't ready. After dating you for two years. Now another man you met just three weeks ago proposed and even married you. And now you came here to tell me that this is not what... Oga! Oga! Please, don't be like this. This is the reason I came myself, rather than send a message or call. We can still be friends. You are who? If I want friendship, I will go to the streets and buy one. Now get out. I am sorry. Get out. Get out! Don't make me repeat myself. Are you Bonyala? Are you mad? Mm. 
Don't start what you can't finish. And who said I cannot finish it? Hmm. Hmm? Are you sure? Very sure. You want me to show you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mm. Wait. Oh, I totally forgot. About what? What's up? It's a surprise. Wait. Oh. One minute, I will be with you, okay? Okay. Yeah. One minute, one minute, one minute. Just one minute. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll call you. I'll call you. Mom, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you sorry that you forgot you asked me to come here today? Or you're sorry that you've not been taking my calls? Or you are sorry that you kept me standing outside for 30 minutes? No, I just said I am sorry. Uh -uh. That's why you're my mom now, and that's why I love you. Mm -hmm. Why are you breathing like this? What have you been doing? Mm. What kind of question is that, Mom? How can you ask a full-grown man in his house why is he breathing this way or what he's doing? Christian mother, take away evil thought out of your mind. Christian brother, don't be angry. So, where is she? She's inside. For how long have you known this girl? For like two months. Two months. Are you sure you know her well enough to get married to her? Eh? Where is she from? Her state? Town? Village? Her parents? What do her parents do? Is she, is she a Christian? Is she from a Christian home? Mom, you didn't tell me that I have to do a research and write a project on a girl before bringing her to you. You are the same person who told me my dad met you barely one week and got married to you. That was then, not now. Hey, I'm busy to go cook. I got all broke it up. Okay, no problem. I have to go inside and tell her not to worry anymore because I have to know her for like two years. Maybe stay with her, know her, know her background. Uh, 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 then come back and tell you. No, 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 God forbid. Um, you said she's a good girl. Then she's good. Oh, go and tell her that I'm here. I want to see her. Angelo, eh, are you sure she's not suffering from barrenness from her family? Eh, don't be angry. Go ahead and bring her. Tell Let her me tell to her to dress up. It's eh? almost like 30 minutes. Dress up? Yeah. She's even naked already. Hey, I'm water. Ha! I go near. Hey! I go lo 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 lo. She's naked. Eh? Obia be mad or baloto. Just sorry. Chief, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, pick your chance. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Oh, yeah. Pick this. Will you get out? Come on. Get, 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 get out of here. Are you mad? Can you imagine this thief? What is this? What's going on? Mother, she's a thief. Yeah, thief. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thief, what? So, the devil, I don't know what came over me, ma'am. Is she not the, uh, the wife you asked me to come and meet? Yes, I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm Sante, ma, please. Whose wife? Whose wife? A thief! Will you get out? Mom, get out! Oh, yeah! Baby, please! Come on! Baby, please! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah!
does it, what, what's the meaning of this? What just happened? The devil. Devil! Who are you and what do you want from me? You made a promise to man, and that promise you must fulfill. You made a promise to the ancestors, and that promise you must fulfill. O Sebolo were decreed, you challenged to a duel. Now the Iko beckons. Your Yamban you boasted will feed the living and the dead. And now you've been called to a feast. And you say your yams are but seedlings. The poison you have sown is ripe for harvest. Leave me alone. What do you want from me? What? <sighs> Don't tell me you're alone in this house. Like, alone. What kind of stupid question is that? Did I tell you I have a tenant? Because I know you very well. You can't stay without a woman around you. Guy, what's in the worry? Are you mad? Oh, no, wait, wait. What are you implying? Are you by any chance calling me a Casanova or a womanizer? Oh, okay, guy, if that's the title you call yourself, now, no problem. I'll gladly call you that. Okay, calm down. I'm not that bad. What's that? <laughs> are you saying or are you telling me you're not bad? <laughs> okay, you know yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, oh. that's good. Cool. Tell me, what's up with your member, your angel? Oh, the love of my life. The best thing that happened to me. Oh, girl, from here now, I'm going straight to see her. How? Like, today? You're not staying over? Oh, girl, rules have changed. I don't stay late anymore. New rules. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> guy, this is strong. Almost a married man. <laughs> this is strong about study. Because, guy, like this girl, she don't cramp you. Ogana, true love. That girl, correct. Where you find guy. true love, Ogana? 
<laughs> okay, you coordinate. Okay, see her. I think I will tell her to maybe hook you up with one of her good friends. Okay, not lie. Anything hook up now, count me out of it. I'd rather stay celibate. <laughs> celibate? Who? You. <laughs> Oga, if you try celibacy for one day, I mean one month, use me as barbecue, chop me, you stupid. What is wrong with that? Are you mad? <laughs> eh? Are you now calling me a Casanova? Eh? Oga. <clears throat> I don't understand you. Guy, I am not a bad person. That's just the truth. I'm a good guy. You know yourself, you know, give me a look yourself, you know who you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, before I forget, I saw one of your girlfriend at a party. Who? Was her name? Sandra. That's the demon. That's the exact name she called you. She called me what? Demon. That your girlfriend embarrassed me because of you. How? Oh God, she believes you are possessed. She swore that whenever you're making love to her, it's as if you're making love to another woman. That reminds me of other three girls that told me the same thing. What's going on? <laughs> I could 